My name is Steve Smith. This is TQA Weekly. And if ever you have any questions, comments, suggestions for topics, email me at ask at TQAWeekly.com or drop them down below on YouTube. And don't forget to go to patreon.com slash TQA Weekly. Link down below to help me out with each and every single one of my future episodes. It means a lot and it helps a lot as well. Today's topic is about how does a keyboard work? Keyboards are based on typewriters, which used mechanical motion to add text to paper. Very simple, you can see what's going on. However, the idea of a typewriter was transferred over to a computer with a twist. Instead of typing or writing onto paper, the signal is sent to computer. So what we want to know today is what happens when you take your finger and you click that button. And it's a very interesting process, which actually needs some explanation. So first of all, like your mouse, the keyboard is part of a class of devices called HID or human interface devices. Human interface devices are by definition computers of their own. So your keyboard, even your mouse has a processor and it has memory. Your keyboard also has a character map, which it could actually use to derive, uh, to derive a specific scanning code for each different key that you can press on your keyboard, regardless of whether it is a typing numeric function control or macro or even media key on your keyboard. So yeah, those are like the six types of keys possible on your keyboard. So what specifically happens is when you click a button, the processor gets the signal, derives the scanning code, which it then transforms into binary, which is sent over to the computer over whatever medium that it is, whether it's wired or wireless, and allows the operating system to derive what command is supposed to be used in the operating system at that time. So if you're in Word, it might do one thing, but if you're playing a game, it might be a control item. Who knows? But whatever happens is, that processor took the scanning code, derived binary code for your operating system, and allows you to actually interact with computers. So it's not really as complicated as most would actually believe. It's quite literally sending ink to paper, only it's on your screen. Now, for those who didn't already know this, you can actually derive the ASCII value from binary and figure out what the alt code is for your websites or whatever button that you need to press if for other languages. Exceptionally useful when you're making websites in UTF-8. For those of you that like this episode, like it. For those who disliked it, dislike it. Don't forget to leave your comments, questions, and topic suggestions down below. Go to patreon.com slash TQA weekly to help me out with future episodes and have a great day. Day. Goodbye.